You are going to shoot me point blank with a shotgun in front of your whole family? I... It wasn't loaded. I told you I wasn't going to hurt anyone. But you were just ready to do it, huh? You're trying to kidnap my wife, man. You think I'm just going to stand here and let that happen? Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a Class 3 felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit spoke into my house and shot me. If I wasn't wearing my vest... How'd they even find us? Someone called 911. Jay! Check they can't get in the back. Smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Were you the one who called 911? <laughs> I dialed and left it off the hook. <laughs> We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and- Put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. <gasps> Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. <sighs> There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not going to put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yeah, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One, two. <laughs> If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. 
Can you reach the scissors? Quick! I'll block the door! I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the Sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? The people doing this, there's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. The one calling the shots, I think his name's, um... Tyler? Tyler. That's right. He's coiled up pretty tight. I worry what's gonna happen if something sets him off. Huh. Yeah, I would've called him the one with the cool head. If Tyler's losing it, you need to be careful. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Joyce and Paul are both doing okay. Yeah, Joyce is tough. I always told her she could have been a cop if she wanted. How about a kid? He's at a friend's house, I think. Oh, that's good. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? I told them what's happening here. That the Holtz were behind it. And you're the one in charge. Fuck! These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a no, dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want... Is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. <sighs> Where do I sign? You made the right decision. Now, all you've got to do is wake up and do it for real. <gasps> Shit. 
<clears throat> Hello? Sorry. I'm probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. But this time I actually signed the... A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like... Dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just going to pick up China. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? <sighs> I guess some dreams never get off the ground. Dish is done. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? A bit of a cool start to the day, gradually getting warmer, with a high of around 93 degrees. Mostly dry, with a humidity of around 69. Well, the weather's the same as here, at least. Come on, Tony. If Jordan can do it, you can do it. Oh, what the hell, ref? My kid can make a better call than that. <sighs> All right, on the home stretch now. Okay. If this is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck, there should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool, ethereal, thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Millie gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. Yeah, the couch tried to stop me with a five o'clock nap, but I got it done. Another bad night's sleep? Are you feeling any better? I'm fine. It's just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. <sighs> I'll get her ready for bed Will you get noodled up.
Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently. About something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? We all have things that scare us, like the dark. And that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. Okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. <laughs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? Why did the lights go out? It's a power outage. We get them all the time here. No outage. It's the damn sheriff. Dale, keep a lookout. On it. I need to get the hell out of here. Jay, take her upstairs and keep her quiet. <laughs> Not getting out that Make way. Make sure the windows are locked. Jay, now. Come on. I'll take care of you. Okay, that's the There's desk. Hairpin. Could There's be useful. Outside, but it doesn't work. So I suppose I could try the manual transfer switch. Go do it. Hey. Hey! I believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's too dark out there. I can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <sighs> Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. Hey, 
Remember what I told you? It's okay to be scared. Let it all out, Pumpkin. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. You guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the Holtz? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Uh. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Everybody down! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Leaves in a body bag. Oh. oh, shit, she's been shot. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. She needs an ambulance. Get her an ambulance. Fuck. Fuck! No! We can't! What happened to Mommy? Quick, Joyce, don't we have a... A first aid kit? Oh my god, I'll go check. Shh, just look at me. Look at me. What happened? Where's Zoe? She's fine. Honey, she's right here. Your mommy needs some space, darling. Help me get her to the couch. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. I know that look. It's bad, isn't it? Ah, just a scratch. Barely grazed you. Don't lie to me, Vince. Vince, help me get the wound exposed. Quick! That's it. 
Oh my god, honey. It didn't hit a major organ from what I can tell. But if she keeps losing blood, it won't matter. Are you a paramedic or something? No. Just spent 324 days in the jungle north of Da Nang. Saw a lot of these. Uh. What? I, I couldn't find the first aid kit, but I got some tweezers, some pads. We're gonna take care of you, honey. Look, it went in her back and didn't come out the front. Means the bullet's still in there. Well, we, we gotta get it out then. Or something, don't we? I don't know, man. You dig around too much and they get infections. And my hands shake. If anyone's doing this, it's you. I don't want it in me, Vince. Please, get it out! Okay. I'll try. You're doing fine, sweetheart. It's okay. I've got it. I've got it. Nice job, Doc. Now, let's get that thing cleaned up and covered. This here's the good stuff. It usually stays hidden. Paul's in recovery. Two years sober this July. Okay. It, it stings. But it's okay. Keep going. Okay. Hand me that shawl. She should be all right for now, but we need to keep the pressure on this wound. No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Veggie delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? <laughs> I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Uh, is there anything more stressful than moving? There is. I don't want to know. Well, this time next week, we'll be in our new place. Zoe will have a yard to run around <laughs> in. We just have to survive three days in the car with your father first. Anyway, tonight is our last night, and it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Leave it. It'll wake Zoe. Hello? 
Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Why did you... Vince, have you been looking at my phone? Daddy? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Even with my star lamp on. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and Mommy? Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. <sighs> you never said anything about him before. I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. It's just... Like you said, I've lost a lot this year. Don't want to lose you too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. Wait, wait. Stop. <sighs> Are you okay? No, it's fine. I'm just, um... I'm just tired. With the move and everything. Yeah. Uh, we better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Night. Get her up. She's gonna have to walk. Vince, don't let them send me out. I wanted to be Zoe. You're hurt, honey. You need to get to a hospital. I know I look like death, but I promise I'm not actually dying. But Zoe, look at her, Vince. Please, just get her somewhere safe. What do you think? Will Michelle be okay here? Hard to say. I've seen it go a lot of different ways. I don't care who goes, but only one of them.
Come on. Coin toss goes to you. Let's get you to a surgeon who actually went to med school. No, 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 please. I'm all right. Listen to me. You were shot. And Zoe needs her mom when this is over, okay? Yeah. Okay. Zoe. Zoe, come here, love bug. I love you so much. I love you that plus a hundred. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. <laughs> hey, look, you dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. <laughs> She's tough. She'll make it. Okay! They're coming out! Stay right where you are! We have eyes on two hostages exiting the front of the building. I'm scared, Vince. I don't want to be alone. You'll be fine. They'll get you to a hospital, throw a bunch of big words at you. And when it's all over, you'll have a badass scar for a souvenir. I guess a scar would be pretty cool. That's far enough! I'm unarmed. I'm Sheriff Romero, and I guess you must be Vince. Where's that stretcher, people? Let's go! What happened? She was shot in the raid. Looks like single entry, no exit wound. Blood pressure 60 over 30. I got the bullet out. Steve, radio ahead and activate a trauma team. Vince, I need to ask you something. I'm here. Anything. The other night, when you... When I got that text message and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. <sighs> you know that, right? So I've been told. Hey! That's enough talk! <sighs> I'll see you soon, okay? It's good you got her out. She'll be all right now. Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. Hell, it's hard for me too. Those fuckers shot me. But, I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You do. I really hope you're right. I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. 
How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. God. Is Mommy gone? She's on her way to the hospital. I'll blow her a kiss to get better. Mwah! So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Seems like he's got a handle on things. I think. We'll see. Won't well, really know until the shit hits the frying pan. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Hey, you want to share that with the rest of us? Um, nope. Don't think I do. Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. We don't get to eat? Mm. No. I said no. The answer is no. <laughs> Come on, man. Just share the food. Here you go, getting all up in my shit again. Why should I, huh? Because cold pizza tastes like a sweaty sack of balls? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> That's me, always the crowd pleaser. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Oh, shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. There's this girl I got it's my not eye here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Don't you have a cousin you can marry? Keep it in the gene pool. What the hell did you say? Nothing. It was... It was just a joke. Ah... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Gene pool, huh? <laughs> Good one. Well, anyway, enjoy the pizza. Wait up. You're right. This stuff's nasty cold.
Well, I'll be damned. Thanks for backing me up just then. Hmm, no problem. Make sure you save me a slice. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Tell Dante he better get us out of here. Do you have to hold me so tight? It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. there. Just keep a cool head. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right. You sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. I never thanked you from my shoulder. I was aiming for your heart, but I guess you ain't got one. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> Some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... I believe you have something of mine. Yeah, your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. That's your priority right now? It's our priority, Vince. Don't you forget that. I'd go inside if I were you. What did you do? What did I do? Are you fucking serious? Why did you come back? Because my family's in here! God damn kill! <laughs> This isn't his fault. 
You're the one in charge, Tyler. You're the one who let your brother go out there. You want to blame someone? Take a look in the fucking... Joyce! No. Tyler... <laughs>